Hey guys, welcome to day two of our Vegas trip. As you can see, it was 51 degrees and we're heading to the Hoover Dam and Bang Canyon today. So this was my outfit. It was a super sunny day, so I wasn't too worried about getting cold. We left the hotel about 8 a.m. It was about an hour drive over to the Hoover Dam. We attempted to arrive for the 9 a.m. tour and we were only two minutes late. So unfortunately, we got into the 10 a.m. tour, but it actually worked out for us. So before I get there, this is the view arriving to the Hoover Dam. There is a lot of security and you have to go like through border control kind of where they ask a couple questions and then you are inside and then you arrive. So it's super easy to follow the signs over to the parking garage. I must say they have bus tours where you can come with a bunch of people and they drive you here if you don't want to drive, but we decided to actually rent a car. So we had a little bit more freedom and this is the parking garage. And as soon as you park, you are met with this fantastic view. Just a couple steps away is the visitor center so that's where you check in for the tour there's two different tours the hoover dam and the plant one so we went for the hoover dam one we saw this really cool film which was super informative about five to eight minutes and then we went over to the observation deck and we took some pictures we soaked in the beauty and then this tour actually started The tour starts underground, which was super cool. They take you over to the plant where they give electricity to three different states. They tell you how it works, how the construction happened. You get, I mean, I touched the rocks and you could feel the water and it was super cold. It was such a cool experience. Obviously my mom was having a little bit of anxiety being underground. We saw these workers um, repairing this and we actually, I did not record it, but seconds before this clip, I saw that thing hit the worker and thankfully he had a hard helmet on but that was an indescribable part of the tour for sure. This part was cool because that hallway was the Arizona area and then this hallway that we're gonna walk through is actually the Nevada area. So it was kind of cool being near the state line. I don't know, I always like that. We kept being underground at this point and then our tour guide was sharing some ghost stories which was very interesting. And then they take you to this little window where you get to see outside and it is such a breathtaking view. I honestly don't remember what was up with these stairs, but I remember that they are so steep. They are so scary to look at. I think those are the ones that the workers do for repairs. And then they take you upstairs to see it in its full glory. It's such a beautiful view. Obviously you have this to the left and then you cross the street and you have a totally different view, but just as pretty. I have to say that the word of the trip for all of my family every time we did something was that it was insane. So I've been trying to describe everything so differently without using the word insane, but I'm just gonna let you know. So we were kind of in a rush to get over to the Grand Canyon since we were running late. So we got food at the cafeteria that they have in the Hoover Dam. It was actually pretty decent. And we also went to the gift shop and got some stuff, of course. And then we made it over to Arizona and it was so cool. So of course it was basically very desert-like. So it was awesome. And we stopped at Nina's Bakery. I need everybody that's in the area to stop here. It's a Mexican bakery and we were so pumped. I did, okay, not I did. We did get a little bit crazy. Look at all the pastries they have how do you not want to get every single item so we got a little bit crazy we took them on the road i did not show you a taste test but let me tell you that after being all day in the grand canyon in the sun and dehydrated these came in clutch on the drive back so i recommend you stop and then go to the grand canyon and then eat them on the way back because that's the way to do it i generally don't remember but i want to say that the drive from the hoover dam to the grand canyon west area was about an hour and a half we lost um cell signal while we were in this area so i definitely don't remember because it wasn't updated anymore but then we parked and it's right by the airport and we had a little bit city girl moment because we saw a tumbleweed which is was one of the things on our bucket list to see while we were in a desert so seeing this in action i cannot describe the feeling so there is a bus station that takes you to two different spots. The first one is Eagle Point, which is the one that we went to. I didn't record much, obviously, as soon as we get off, 
the bus I show you the majestic views and it was like I said insane there is a an area I don't know how to describe it but it's a glass floor and you can go through it and look at the Grand Canyon that was honestly a great experience I'm so sad I couldn't record it because you cannot take phones anything there they do take pictures of you but the line to do that was a little bit too much for us so we didn't but in the meantime we walked around this and I'm so sorry we I'm gonna try to say it correctly but we learned about the Wallapai tribe. I hope I said it correctly, and if I didn't, please let me know down below. But we looked at a little bit about their history. We have a couple of things like this, un atabe in Puerto Rico for our indigenous ancestors. So it was kind of cool seeing and learning about this different tribe and everything about it as well. When you go inside to the area with the glass floor, you learn a little bit more about them. And this is the second spot that we went to. This is Guano Point. So the bus stop, like I said, takes you to two different stops. This is the second one, and I must say this was way better than Eagle Point because you get to be a little bit more immersed. Like you can see, you're a little bit closer to the rocks. There's more rocks to look at. I know they're just rocks, but they're not just rocks. That mountain right there is Guano Point. You can kind of trek up there. My mom and my dad didn't go, so I went with my sister. We saw these two girls that were hiking back, and they were totally out of breath, and then we actually ended up just like them. I can't even see you. <laughs> oh gosh. Extreme caution, watch for falling rocks. Uh-uh. What do you mean? As you can see, these two city girls were scared of some falling rocks, but it wasn't as bad as we thought. Um, I started recording a little bit so you could see how it is, but at some point I had to stop recording because I had to use my hands to kind of get up there and move around. But it was such an insane view to get up there. Yes, we were kind of out of breath on our way back, but I think it was from the excitement and kind of the adrenaline. So I definitely recommend coming to Wano Point and doing this. I wore jeans as you saw in Converse and I was totally fine. So it's not like you have to come in a super hiking outfit because it wasn't an insane hike, but wow. I still can't get over this view and I swear that the camera doesn't do it any justice. And at the end, there's this cool mine machine that we could see. You could go downstairs as well to see a little bit more, but I, by this point, was falling apart. I was dehydrated, I was hungry. So on the drive back, we were actually searching desperately for gas. We had a little air in our tires, so it was kind of a crazy ride back that I did not record much, but I ate my Mexican treats, I took a nap, and that was the end of the day. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're ever in Vegas, I definitely recommend renting a car and going to see the Hoover Dam first and then Grand Canyon. And don't forget about Guana Point because it was amazing. And don't forget about Nina's Bakery. This is not sponsored, but I am in love with their treats. <laughs> but thank you again so much for joining me. The third and final part of the Vegas trip will be up soon. And it's when we went to Valley of Fire, which was another, you guessed it, insane experience. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.